Do you fall off your bike all the time like Al? Do your levers keep breaking? If so, stand by, because we're installing these. Today on Hard On Duro, we install Fastway handguards. So if you've ever committed to buying something from overseas before you saw how much the international shipping was, go ahead and like and subscribe. All right, guys, today we're going to be installing um, the, some hand guards on um, Al's Beta 300. And we've decided to go for the Fastway FIT hand guards. Um, being in Australia, I haven't seen these before. Um, I've seen a lot of other Fastway items, but um, I saw them um, on a video before and I thought they looked pretty cool. They're a little, little bit different looking and they allow for um, the fitment of the uh, Clake One light, whereas a lot of the other um, handguards just, just don't, don't fit. The other thing I like about these two is that uh, it's a centre mount system, so they'll, they'll mount straight to the centre um, of your bars and they won't, don't clamp onto the actual bar itself, so it's a little bit more secure. The other thing about these two is that it comes with a tap, um, so that you can actually, um, instead of the, uh, the standard style expansion uh, bolts that you put on the end to hold it, which I don't know about you guys, but for me, they always come loose and um, wobble around. Whereas these things lock it in tight and they're not going anywhere. So in regards to that, so we do, um, it's a very basic system, but um, we still need to uh, do a couple of things that are a little bit different and that include, includes um, using the tap and tapping into the end of the bar um, so that we can screw into it. We ordered these direct from America because we couldn't get them here in Australia. So you lucky guys in America probably pay a lot less than us, but super, super expensive, nearly gold plated. Worth it, I think, in my, in my opinion. They come in all different colours, um, so you can match your, uh, your pretty bike with your pretty, uh, pretty handguards. All right, so just to, um, I've un, um, opened all the packaging and you can see the, uh, the tap here. Um, and basically this, this end goes, will end up being permanently in here. We'll put a bit of Loctite in there to lock it in and we can just screw the, uh, the bar in straight on. Um, obviously, if you've never tapped anything before, you really need to be careful about um, keeping it level when you put it in. So um, uh, just, just be really mindful of that. The next step now is to basically cut the end of the, um, the grip out. Um, some grips will come with sections that you can actually pull off, some come without it. So it looks like um, this one is a solid end, I think. So we're probably gonna need to um, either hacksaw it off or grind it off or um, cut it off with a, with a knife. <laughs> So we've got the tap started. Um, we've got it aligned fairly well. Um, sadly, we forgot to bring the uh, actual tap in, so we're just going to use use a wrench here. Is that a wrench? Ratchet ring. Ratchet ring. Comment below if I'm an idiot. No idea what I'm talking about. So um, this will get the job done. So in a few, out a few. Get 
those chips out. All right, so pretty much um, we've tapped in as far as we, we need to. Um, we just need to tap in this far, basically, so that that, um, that will sit, sit in there flush. We don't really need to go all the way in with this tap, but I'll just remove it. It was fairly self-centering, so it's not too bad, but just be aware you, you probably can really stuff it up if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. All right, so we've got our thread in there now. Uh, the idea is that this um, this part goes in there. We put normally put a little bit of Loctite on there because it never needs to come out. Um, because um, this bolt will go through in the end. So let's just do a test. And I'm going to need a large. Um, yeah. A bit too large. Large enough. <laughs> Seven. The one of you toying that. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we've um, finished tapping that out now, and we're going to put a little bit of Loctite on this and uh, lock it in. It's got an Allen key end, so you're really able to reef it on. All right, so that's going nowhere. So basically in there now we have a permanent uh, actual thread so that the bar um, can be mounted up to it, which we'll show in a minute. All right, so we've got our tap in, we've got our, uh, our piece put in there. So basically they're not gonna move, unlike the expansion ones you get on, on a lot of other products. They are absolutely going nowhere. So the next adventure for us is to <coughs> Basically, install this, the, the mounts for the centre, and essentially, it's going to be looking like this. Um, our bolt will go through here. We'll put our flag onto the front with two bolts, and um, this will mount to the centre. We'll show you that uh, coming up now. All right, so the next part is um, installing these um, centre mount clamps. Um, so basically you'll need to remove your, your central pad and take off the two bolts on the top holding, holding your bar on. These will then basically replace that and get um, installed on top. And get the correct thing. Um, when you're doing this, just be aware, unless you're taking everything off your bars, that um, you're going to need to place your handlebars with all the controls somewhere. So just be careful of all your cables. Um, I believe um, we should be able to just sit it forward of it and it should be okay. Or it may even just sit there. So the centre bar mount comes off and basically that gets discarded because we're using the new system. <clears throat> All 
Uh, the new system comes with bolts, hex head, which is good. Gotta be it. Um, you'll find that most bars have got um, indicator uh, lines and numbers written on them, so uh, it'll allow you to align the bar um, where you want it and get it level. I'm just gonna do this sort of fairly approximately. So you want to get it sort of fairly approximately and then whoever the rider is, you want to get them to sit on it and um, basically feel where they like their bars to be. So I'll get Al to do that in a minute and um, we'll come back and carry on. Right, so now um, that our centre mounts have been uh, installed, um, just talk them up to whatever your motorbike specs are. Um, the next bit is, so we're just going to place this through here, just to hold that in place. Put a little bit of Loctite on there if you want as well. So, and it comes with these two other, these two other bolts and some um, plastic washers. All right, so um, the bolt that joins the um, center mount to the actual uh, bar uh, is a bolt that pops through the back end. It's actually locks itself in, so you can't, um, can't get it, but you'll need to put that through before you um, actually lock these down because otherwise there would be no space behind it. All right, so now that we've got everything locked down tight, feeling beautiful, we get to put the uh, best bit on, which is your flags, whichever uh, pretty colour you've chosen. It's an uh, Allen key bolt and it's already threaded, so literally just uh, two bolts on each and off you go. Same for the other side. So there you go. Basically for those of us who love to crash a lot and, uh, and like our fingies, where they are, these are your uh, fast wave fit hand guards.
Do you fall off your bike all the time? Do your levers get broken when you slam? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I was gonna say it like hell. <laughs> say what? Say hell? Yeah. I am hell, aren't I? Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. I'll... <laughs> Do you fall off your bike all the time like Al? Do your fingers get smashed into trees? Fucking hell. Do you fall off your bike all the time like Al? Do your labours... Labours. <laughs> you fall off your bike all the time like Al? Do your levers keep breaking? If they do, we're installing these. Today on Hard Enduro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think I forgot what my bit is. What are we calling those? Fastway handguards. I was thinking about the end bit, not the middle bit. Fast what are they? Fastway handguards? Fastway handguards? Today on Hard Enduro, we install Fastway handguards. So if you've ever committed to buying something from overseas before you saw how much the international shipping was, go ahead and like and subscribe. <laughs> Did we get it? I fucking hope so. Was it recording? <laughs>